Hello, I would like to share um, my thoughts on how to choose relapse treatment in multiple myeloma. So after first-line treatment in myeloma, there are many options uh, that are approved for, for this situation. And it's depending on uh, many things you could say. But uh, in my, my practice, I think this is not so difficult. I, I will come back to why. First, I would like to, like to tell you that at diagnosis, myeloma is a very clonal disease, uh, subclonal disease. So there are many clones in a myeloma patient. They are refractory or sensitive to different drugs. That's why we su succeed so much with combinations. But also on progression, we know this from the translational studies. Uh, you can have a progression on one clone uh, after one treatment, on a different clone after another treatment. And you need to be aware that this is happening in your patients. This is why I think changing you know, the mechanism of action is the most central part of the choice of any relapse treatment. So you can think about many things when you choose relapse treatment. For me, what are the patients exposed to? What are they affected to? And what is the best documented treatment that changes the mechanism of action of the drug so that you give something completely different? In myeloma, uh, first-line treatment, you usually use PIs, imids, and or daratumumab. So, and what you end up with being refractory to is, should be the basis of next line treatment. So, if you end up with being len refractory, uh, next treatment should be based on the, on the PI. If you end up with being, uh, using, for, for instance, DARA VMP, and you end up with, uh, being refractory only to DARA, you should probably use the len based treatment. Uh, and if you are, which is now more and more common, since this is reimbursed many places, end up being refractory to DARA len then uh, the options are the protosome inhibitor-based regimens. I'm not going into details on how to choose between these. But just remember that. Remember to change mechanism of action and go to something the patient hasn't seen before, preferably. And I just want to add that um, there are slides attached to this, which you can find on the website. And you can also contact me if you want. Thank you.